structures must have been fortified. <laughs> First of all, good news for anyone who religiously plays Storm. The patch and its reworks didn't change how the hero feels much in regards to mana capacity and management. You can more or less perform jumps at the usual pace. Now, let's get to the actual changes. To understand the changes, we must first understand how different playstyles work on Storm before the patch. A storm that when the default build and farm bloodstone would, most of the time, either hunt clone supports or wait for his team to initiate, then do a long range jump to join the fights. The bulk of the damage came from the ultimate, with the reduced mana cost and spell amp. On the other end, a storm that opted for an orchid rush didn't have the luxury of big majestic jumps and instead relied on smaller, more focused engagements to eliminate the target in the 5 second window that the orchid lasts. So, while on bigger teamfights, storm's performance suffered, the trade-off was the ability to solo pick off 95% of the heroes at that stage of the game. The reason I rarely advocate rushing Orchid in higher MMR games, however, is that the time window, while Storm can effectively kill 95% of the enemy heroes, is pretty damn small. And in an average match, with a 15 min Orchid, you have about 5 minutes until everyone starts grouping up, so you either made good impact during those minutes, or ended up with a dead end item. You can look up my other two videos about Orchid if you'd like this point further elaborated. Anyway, now that we're aware of the two playstyles, let's see what changed with the patch. Bloodstone lost the mana cost reduction and gained mana region amplification instead, no longer buffing your jumps, but buffing the mana recovery in between jumps. Orchid, while slightly nerfed, has one big giant change, the cost. We don't care about the stats as much as we care about the silence component, and what we lost in stats, we gained in an entire few minutes shaved off the Orchid timing. In this match, I've picked it up at minute 10, and I expect in an average game, a 10 to 12 minute Orchid is a fairly reasonable expectation. And just like I was saying before, the time window until everyone starts grouping up is fairly small, and as expected, after a few kills, the entire enemy team started sitting in mid just to avoid being picked off by Storm. Entire team except Rift King, who has the reincarnation to receive help in time. But what's different with the current patch is with an earlier Orchid, we're forcing the enemy to group up earlier too, which massively alleviates pressure of the side lanes, which is crucial for your position 1 to collect his first bigger item, as they can now push lane instead of hiding deep inside the jungle. So, either you're getting kills with Orchid, or you're forcing the enemy group ups, and in turn generate space. Also, also, what I said at the start is that Orchid Storm isn't that great at team fights compared to the Bloodstone Storm. Well, guess what? With an earlier Orchid, you will collect earlier Bloodstone too, which in this match I've got around minute 20, allowing me to no longer rely on only pickups and be a powerful initiator with a silence. Also, 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 the third most important change of the patch the hero kill bounties have been increased, further rewarding an aggressive playstyle. So, build one null, grab casual boots, fill up rest of your inventory with cheap mana region from Sage's masks, then upgrade them until you have Orchid complete, and look for your first victim. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to be playing Pick Off Storm for some time now, and will reassess this topic after some time has passed. For now, I'm leaving you with the rest of the match. Thank you for watching, good luck. Structures must have been fortified. <laughs>
Dyer's mid tower <laughs> won't last much longer. <laughs> Towers having Towers seem better days.